find out. But for today, let's let's enjoy today. And we'll just continue with our study. We've been doing a study through the book of Proverbs as we lead ourselves in a place of prayer. And we'll we've uh we'll be in and uh we're looking at the wicked man, you know, from in Proverbs chapter six, which is verse twelve to nineteen. We've spent a while at twelve on Monday, we looked at thirteen. Uh verse fourteen goes on and says, Perversity is in his heart. In the heart of a wicked man is perversity. A wicked man is not wicked because of his environment. It is something that's in it, in him or her. Right? If someone is wicked, it's, it's because there's a twist in the nature of that person. There's a corruption in the nature of that person. It's kind of surprising when you see some people, how wicked they are. They think about evil. They dream of evil. They, 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 you know, they, when you see someone beginning to, to be envious of someone that is below him or her, I remember some, some years ago when I first uh, came from the field to the office and my first year, you know, I, I didn't get promoted after I, they gave me enough work to almost kill myself. And I went to talk to my manager and he was comparing me to himself. <laughs> I was the most stupid of comparison, Right. Is way up, and I was saying that he has not been promoted. He's comparing himself to myself. That's stupidity, right? <laughs> you know, I, but 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 people can be that wicked, they can be that petty, right? You know, and it's because there's a twist on the inside of that person, right? Someone that does not have peace cannot give another person peace. If you see a person that is not a person of peace. The problem is not the other people that is not giving peace. It's the, because there's no peace within. What you don't have, you cannot give. If you're not a man of peace, it's because there's a, there's, there's a war going on on the inside of you. And what you are showing out is, 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 is a revelation of what is going on on the inside of you. You cannot be at peace with others when there's no peace within. It's like you see someone that's always finding fault with, not, with what other people are doing. It's because that person has not received grace. If you have not received grace, you cannot give grace. See, that's what legalistic people do. Oh, dasha, dasha, dasha. <laughs> they have not received grace. They have not received grace, so they cannot give grace. It's like the elder brother of the prodigal son. <laughs> He looked so righteous, he stayed back. But we saw the, 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 the corruptedness, the twistedness of his nature when his brother came back. He could not rejoice with the father. He could not rejoice with the, with the brother that has missed it and has now come back home. He was comparing his brother to himself, saying, oh, father, you are rejoicing that this brother is back there. But you have not given me this. Boy, that's all the time he had it. You see, he looked righteous for because the occasion had not come. One could not see what was in his heart. It's like what I say concerning people. There's a friend of mine, supposed friend of mine, you know, that he was then given the opportunity to be someone that I used to be preferred above. But because of some situations, he's not my supervisor, supposed to be a friend. <laughs> and it was threatening me you know obviously but 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 what i say is it's good to give people power because unless you give them power you don't know what's inside of them you have not seen a person until that person is in a position to use power power is a test of the true nature of a person the same way money is a test of the true nature of a person if someone has never been given power you don't know who that person is Let's pray. Yeah. So we're looking at Proverbs chapter 6, verse 14. It says, okay. perversity is in the heart. is yeah. in his heart. It's in the heart of the wicked man. Perversity is yeah. in his heart. A wicked man yeah. is wicked not because of what is external to him. He's wicked yeah. because nature is wicked. Perversity yeah. is in his heart. He, he, yeah. He's dead. He's corrupt. His yeah. nature, you know, like the Bible says, Concerning Lucifer, it says sin was found in mm. him. Mm. Sin was found in him. 
what he did, his rebellion was because sin was found in him. A person does not just sin. Sin starts by, by a seed in the instinct of a person. Mm. For, for someone to miss the mark, a being impregnated a, into the person. A seed of that must be impregnated into the person. Someone mm. does not just backslide, though. someone does not just commit fornication, mm. someone does not just commit adultery. First of all, you have to the think spirit about it. will enter first. Yes, you have to, you have to, somehow you, something comes to you and say it's possible. Mm. <laughs> the possibility mm. first of all has to be born inside of you. Jesus Nobody Christ. just suddenly sin. Nobody just suddenly steal. First of all, the thought will come. What if you do this? Mm. What if you do that? <laughs> you know, mm. sin comes from a single thought. The possibility, mm. the, the seeming darkness or enlightenment that this is possible. Mm. Mm. And when you begin to meditate and build on that, mm. then it, it begins to bear fruit. But that right? means you're not. Yeah. But that's why the word of God has said, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my um, of my heart be the one that is acceptable with you, Lord. Absolutely. Because it can back an action that is yes. not palatable. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter how many years you've been born again. Mm. You're still objected to it. Mm. Because it's, it's the war that takes place between the spirit and the flesh. Mm. Mm. Right. It, that thought will still come. Yeah. You, for we men, we see a naked woman. Mm. Something comes to us that, what if? Mm. <laughs> thought begins to come. The imagination mm. of it. It's not something that we start. It. It's just something mm. that our flesh begins to imagine. Mm. Mm. So it's not up to us whether we dwell mm. on it or not. Mm. We have a choice to dwell on it or not. Mm. But that thought will come or not, it will come. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, and there's mm. no anointing that will take it away. Mm. Right? There's no anointing that will take it away. You see a statue mm. of money, the thought of taking it will come. Mm. Now, whether you mm. dwell that thought or not, it's a different mm. thing. <laughs> mm. you know, mm. Sin is, is in the world. Mm. And Jesus Christ in his prayer did not say, God, take them away from the world. He said, Lord, mm. keep them from the evil one. Keep us from the evil one. We are here to 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 face and conquer sin, not to avoid it. Mm. I mean, we can't be taken we away from it. We are here to mm. conquer it, right? Amen. Even if in the church you you tell all the women mm. to conquer everything, you still have to mm. walk on the street now. Mm. <laughs> you still see women that are open. You still I know on, on, on the internet you have women that even though they are married, they want to show you boobs. They want to mm. show you <laughs> different things. You know, so mm. you can sit in the church and tell all your women, cover everything, wear black. When you get out. But when you get out, in. yeah, you still have to survive, you still have to live, you still have to overcome, you mm. still have to be all sin. Mm. Life is not about, about running away from sin, it's about overcoming it. Mm -hmm. It's about growing yourself to be above. Yeah. Above right? it. You can run away from it. power over you again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. As long as you're running away from me, you're, you're just running. One day you'll face I'm it. Keeping the evil day. Mm. Yes. And your strength will be tested. Mm. Your strength will be tested when you face it. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's more important to grow yourself. Grow yourself so that you are bigger mm. than it. So, mm. You know, Amen. build yourself. Build your faith Amen. in God. Amen. Continue Amen. to strengthen your faith. Know why you believe. Oh. Right, mm -hmm. you know, walk with God. You know, let let you let your faith in God, your your, your walk with God be real, because that is what we will overcome in a day of trial. Man, trial will come. He will test your faith. He will test. But our strength will be much. Yes, and the strength that we have will not be small. Yes, temptation mm -hmm. will come. Trial of life will come. Mm -hmm. There will be something you need badly. That all you need to do is commit uh, compromise and you'll get it. Mm -hmm. The power not to compromise is a function of the, the strength of faith you have built. Mm -hmm. the, the power of the presence of God in your life. That's what will keep mm -hmm. you. you know, may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, go ahead, man. Mm -hmm. The day of the fire. Ah, and then. Uh, because we are children in this fire, we need to prepare the way of the Lord. We need to. 
and the book of Romans 15 is encouraging us. We should be thankful for God's instructions. Mm. He gives okay. us instructions to guide us, to mm. give us the attitude that comes of Christ constantly. Mm. God of encouragement and endurance. He will continue to give us that enduring grace to be patient mm. and to comfort each other with the comfort of the Lord. So he has given us guidance mm. in the attitude of Christ. Mm. Christ still passed through trials and temptations. Mm -hmm. He overcame mm -hmm. by the word of his testimony. So I pray the word will be written well enough. Amen. And we'll be secured Amen. and we'll be established in it. Amen. And we'll be immovable by the word. Absolutely, amen. In Jesus name. Amen. amen, amen, amen. You know, Jesus, the word didn't say that we won't go through the fire, he only said, no. God just said, He'll be with us, or we'll go through the fire. Yeah. He'll not burn us, fire. you know. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, We won't go through the water, we will go through the water. Mm -hmm. What's won't swallow mm -hmm. us? He didn't say the storm will not amen. come, he just says mm -hmm. that you will raise a standard, you amen. know. He, and Jesus Christ yeah, says that yeah. he that listens to my word is like he that mm. builds his house upon the rock. Mm. He didn't say the storm will not come. He just says that mm. the, the storm will come and test your foundation. Mm. So it's not about running away from the storm. It's not about saying, God, I don't want storm. Oh, storm will never come. Mm. Storm will come. It doesn't matter the anointing you have. Storm will come. The yeah. question is, what kind of foundation will he find in your life? Mm. 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 Is your foundation that's Jesus Christ says, we, we need he, that a listens word. he that listens to my word and does my word is the one that mm. will build it, like one building his house upon the rock. Mm. 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 It's what the word that we feed ourselves with and leave is what builds mm. our house, our life mm. upon the rock. Mm. And that's what will pass the test of time, will pass us the test of temptation, will pass the test of the Amen. storm. Of life. Amen. And God will make that our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. We do really Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am.